Ms. Lockridge, you've dragged the defendant, Mr. Tidwell, to court because he has refused to acknowledge your 10-month-old son, King. You are 100% sure he's the father and claim today's results will prove your case. Mr. Tidwell, you say you were never in a serious relationship with Ms. Lockridge and you were stunned when she told you she was pregnant. The timing leads you to suspect that Baby King's father must be another man. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lockridge, tell me about Mr. Tidwell's relationship with your son. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Tidwell does not have a relationship with my son. The only time he's actually seen my son is when I've made it a convenience for him and brought him to him. That means traveling four hours on bus, driving two hours on the car to drive to him. He hasn't helped with diapers. He barely helped with any clothes, and it hurts. It's frustrating. He named my son King. And how am I supposed to raise a king and he's not there? You named him King, Mr. Tidwell? Yes, Your Honor. But you don't have a relationship with him? Nope, because, uh, Your Honor, I think she's more wants me to be the dad than she really believes I'm the dad. She's obsessed with me <laughs> and she's done obsessed a lot of different you. things to <laughs> make me feel like I'm not the father. She's left town. She's left me with the baby for weeks. It was not a she's, week. She's she has to days. communicate with me. She, uh, she has you. other men around. But men. you named the child. She gave me the right to do that. She talked to me. I wasn't there at the birth. She only called me when she had the baby. So take me back to this relationship. I want to understand all There this. was no relationship, Your Honor. Just, what, casual sex? Yes. We were on and off for six years. We were together for, I, my understanding, how he led me to believe I was single or I was with him in a committed relationship for at least a year. That's a lot. And then I real... I was my side, my personal opinion. We That's were you. together for a year. That's you. We've been messing around. Okay, well, anyways, we were to, we've been messing around for six years. I did leave for a two-year period because I had to get my life back on track. You had another kid. Anyways, who could be yours? That's not next. mine. It's... Anyways, we were sleeping. It was casual sex after the first year. That first year, I was dedicated, diehard man fan. Remember that? No. Yeah, diehard man fan. I was smooth his, nobody else's, until I realized he was nothing for me. He was not my future. And I kept thinking, yeah, I do love him. I see potential in him. I see what he could be, but the fact that he doesn't want to step up to be the good man that he could be, that's your loss. But now I got a son. He needs his father. And I hope he finds Mr. it. Mr. Tidwell, you said she's done some things that make you feel like you weren't the only person she was sleeping with at the time I wasn't, King was conceived. Tell the court. She has another guy that she was sleeping with. During the time that you were having sex with Ms. Lockridge, mm -hmm. were you aware of anyone else she was involved with sexually? Not personally, but um, we weren't... There was nobody else. We weren't Snoop. I'm not going to drive. I'm not going to ride the bus four we hours. We were not Take in a three buses to come sleep no with you if I got that in my backyard, like though. It was just really? sex and... Have you seen it. me, though? And so how did you find out she was pregnant? She came over to my house. We, we hung out. The next day, I see a, a piece of paper on my bed. I grab it. I looked at it. It was a note with an ultrasound in it. What did the note say? I, I'm not sure the exact words of the note, but it said that she didn't know how to tell me this. And she's sorry she didn't tell... She had to tell me like that. So I call her. She didn't answer the phone. She ended up leaving me a text message saying that she was sorry and that she didn't know how to tell me that she was pregnant. All right, so that's one week after you had sex with her, she left you a note. Yes. That's a lie. So, now, a, and, and you had the ultrasound picture. She did, yeah. So on the ultrasound like... picture, did it tell you how many months the ultrasound was? I, no, no, ma'am. So, Ms. Lockridge, you leave the ultrasound picture in the note. You, you agree to oh, that? Oh, I totally did, because he invited his brother over. His brother was there. That's the sole purpose why I did not tell him I was pregnant. No, I couldn't you tell him your brother was there. You know my brother was my brother there. No, my I'm not going to fix this, because so I know how you react. This is how you me. react. I'm not fixing to have this reaction in front of your brother when I find out I'm finally pregnant. I finally get something from you. The See only what I'm thing saying, She's you. obsessed with me. No, I'm not. She wants something from I got plenty of them. So she wants me to be her baby's dad more than she's sure. Why that reaction, Ms. Lockridge? You believe he's just not telling the truth? Because I know for a fact that he's his father. I, he was the she only one I was said, Your Honor, I finally we got were, something from him. I was happy that I was pregnant, so I'm not going to ruin that happiness by telling you in front of your brother that I'm pregnant with you when I don't know how you were going to react because every time I bring anything to you, you react all negative and I get sideways. When we conceived my child, I told him I just had my period that's a week ago. That's a lie, ago. Your Honor. He said, shut up, and we kept going at it. For oh, that's wow. a lie, Your Honor. Why would that's you say lie, something like okay, that? Okay, so in light of that... 
romantic conversation. I know, right? <laughs> wow. You thought that he wanted or didn't mind if he got you pregnant. I mean, he just got another girl pregnant four months prior and I asked him, what you gonna do about it? He said, if it's mine, then I'm gonna take care of it. So next time I come over, heck yeah, I'm excited. So you hear he got another girl pregnant. Yep. And then it made you excited to be pregnant? No, when I found out I was pregnant, I was excited because I was gonna have his baby. Because you just, you loved him. I love him. I have a lot of love for him, but am I in love with him? No, because She's he doesn't treat me the way. Honest. I am not obsessed with you. If I was obsessed with you, there wouldn't be nobody else. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Got that. <laughs> if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So let's go forward to the pregnancy. During that time, is he participating at all? Not at all. Not at all. He didn't care about I texted him when I was every doctor's appointment, all my weight gains, the weight changes. I even sent him um, voice recordings of the heartbeat, all that, like, the works. Let's when I had my son, I was in labor mine. for 36 hours completely by myself to the point where I, the nurse that was with me, she had to call the doctor and tell the, ask the doctor if she could stay with me because I was by myself. Your Honor, totally I didn't know about the pregnancy myself. or yes, know about her did. having the baby until she was at the hospital having That's a baby. lie. I texted him. I'm on my way to the hospital. I'm fixing to have this baby tonight. I, have a, I had a job. And I worked every day. I can't just take off a day from the day before she's telling me something. Today. And then again, I'm not for sure who she has up there trying to be the dad. I need a father for my child, not a dad. You're the dad. You're the sperm donor. I need my son to have a father. All right, I'd like to hear from your mother, Mr. Tidwell. Miss Harrington, will you please stand? Thank Step you. up to the podium. You are Mr. Tidwell's mother. Yes. What do you believe, ma'am? Do you believe this is your grandson? She is very obsessed with my son. I am not obsessed. She, I was in love with him. All she talks about is how much she wants to be with him and how she's got a prayer closet at home for him. One day he's going to be her husband. Well, you know, this is just obsession, really. But so, he has admitted, Mom, to mm -hmm. being intimate with Miss Lockridge. Yeah. Yes. So why is it so far-fetched that he could be King's biological father? Because there was such a long span of time in between. I, I don't know anything about this, this young lady, really, uh, other than being King's mother. That's because your son kept me a secret, because I'm actually somebody he could be with, but he's afraid of commitment. Miss Lockridge, this is difficult, because it's obvious you do really want to be with Mr. Tidwell. No, You did not at no some time. Did. At, you know, some time ago. And he seems to have made it clear that he does not want to be in a well, relationship if he, if with If he made it clear, so clear, then stop calling me back, stop texting me, stop inviting me over, stop letting me come over. Mr. Tidwell, I mean, you know this woman is making this effort. You know she's coming all this way. You know you're sleeping with her without protection. I mean, if you, you say she's obsessed with you, you're feeding the obsession. I'm not leading her on, Your Honor, to think there's no relationship at all. <laughs> Mr. Tidwell, if you believe someone is obsessed with you, or you believe somebody, or you know someone wants to be with you so desperately, oh, and you still let them come see with you... No, it was desperate. But this is my point. You're not the first woman nor the last that was desperately in love right. with someone. There's nothing... There's nothing wrong. We've all loved. Right. And sometimes the person loves us back, and sometimes they don't. Your Honor, I don't understand how a mother w could actually leave her child with people that she doesn't really, really even know very well for two weeks. It wasn't and two get weeks. On the it plane was Thursday and to go Tuesday to, to Nevada, Nevada, saying she had no a modeling job. Just all of a sudden, just jumps up and leaves this baby with us. We took care of the baby at that time. And she said she was in Nevada. I call her. I'm like, when are you coming back? Like, I have stuff to do too. I have, you know what I mean? And. All of a sudden, boom, she was there to pick him up with some So wait, she dropped, you threatened, like, to, she, you threatened to take my son. I was in the bathroom doing for a two photo weeks shoot. And I don't hear from And her. me, my, hanging out with my cousin. I don't hear from her for two weeks. Her baby. I was helping her get her in house Nevada? nested. Yes, get in Nevada. And I was doing a, a photo job? shoot. I can give you the proof get of the paid photo. paid at a Molly job? You said you sure didn't do. to model. Sure do. Okay, so the bottom line is you call them and say, can you keep King? I said, do you want to spend time with your son? Because I'm fixing to go take a modeling shoot in Nevada. No. No, 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 that she was just not dropped it. the baby yeah. off. She came to, no, to visit didn't. and brought him to visit. While she was visiting, she decided to leave. Yes. Okay. Not right. called. There wasn't. During the visit? 
Yes. She just up yes. and left. Yes. No, I didn't. We didn't see That's her for two weeks. That's a bull face lie. I don't care what you say, bro. On my mama, bro. I told him. Oh, I was wow. Going in the back I, did, four wow. Two. I asked him specifically, do you want to watch your son? That's do you want to spend Honor. some time with your son? No. If not, I can take him. I believe in Ms. Lockridge's mind, she was leaving her child with his father. Mm. But she left for two weeks. No. When I call her Thursday, to ask Thursday. her when she's coming back, mm -hmm. she says she'll be back when she get back. All of a sudden, I said, well, then I'm just going to keep him to figure out if he's mine. And no. I'll, She came within an hour. She was there with no, a I, man and picked the boy up, came in, snatched him up, left, mm -hmm. and I didn't hear her for, for a week. Within an hour, she was there with a man? Yes. Yes. A guy in the car. Oh, and I'm like, where are you going? Who are you with? Oh, don't worry about it. Ooh. And they just she just snatched him up, left most of his stuff, bottles, and yeah. just left. That's yep. a bold-faced line. I don't care what so you're wait, talking about. So when she appeared with a man, you thought maybe that man was the father? I, don't, I didn't see the man. I seen him in the car. I don't know who he is. Right. There's too much lies. That's way too many lies for me to Did you right appear in an hour with no, a man that picked King lie. up? Yep, no. A white car. No, I was... Yeah, it was actually a gray car. Okay. First off. And it wasn't no hour. It was like six hours later. Oh, I took oh, the first no, was, flight out of Nevada. No, was, I no, called the photo, photo shoot people and told them, look, my baby daddy is trying to steal my son. I can't do the rest of the photo shoot. Yeah. Can we do it in a couple months? And then you said you were going to produce the that she was even at a photo shoot. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I came back, got my immediate flight. I even had a... Stop round trip ticket, to shut me I had to pay extra to get that immediate that flight so back because he was threatening to keep my son. Brother, Your Honor, I would like brother. to submit a picture. So here's the first picture. That is my son, King. And here is the second picture. That is Mr. Tidwell. Thank you, Ron. The thing that catches me up is he looks like his side of the family. He looks like an Ethiopian baby. Really? Yes, he does to me. He's at, from day one when Look I was on. Look this, at that this hairline. This is King. That's King. And the next photo is Mr. Tidwell as a baby. Look at the earmarks, the ear tags. There's nobody else. Miss like... Harrington? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Do you see a resemblance? No. Uh, okay, is that why when you first met him, you told me that if your I son didn't denies you my that. son, well, that you stop him? I didn't tell him? you that. I didn't tell you or that. Or were you just drinking too much? I didn't tell you that, baby. Probably. All right, baby. guys. Car. Let's get back at, okay. to the subject at hand. You don't see a resemblance, obviously, Mr. Tidwell, nor you, Miss Harrington, and Miss Lockridge, you do. It's a beautiful little baby. Yes. yes. This little boy deserves to know who his father is. Right. He does. Yeah. He does. I deserve to know, too. And yes, and if you are his father, you do deserve to know. He also deserves... Can I submit one more thing? Absolutely. The birth certificate. There's no dad's name on it. That's all I want today. And if my son's name is King Tidwell, he needs the man that named him King Tidwell to be in his life. You didn't just pick the name King. Mm -hmm. You gave him his last name, too. But yet he's going to deny my son? From I your actions. Denying is not the problem, Your Honor. It's From the your actions. actions of the way she's been acting, yes. the things she do, and the men... The so, other wait men. a minute. What I want to understand quickly, you name the child. I gave her the name that I wanted my son to have. Because at that moment, and you she thought... she put it on there. Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. At that moment, you thought the baby yeah. was yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then later on, you started to believe he was not yeah. because of what you heard. No, what I've seen. Her and actions. what you've seen. <laughs> okay, the only way we're gonna get down to the bottom of this is to get the result. Smooth. Yes. <laughs> Ron. Ma'am. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lockridge versus Tidwell. When it comes to 10-month-old King Tidwell, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Tidwell, you are not his father. Let's... Are you kidding me? I messed up, man. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. From the bottom of my broken heart, Wallace Tilwell, I'm sorry. And to your whole family, I apologize. I have no idea who his dad is at this point. We knew that. We I'm know sorry, that. but I didn't. I didn't it's sleep. It's okay. I... Calm <laughs> oh, just... oh, Ron, get her. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All right. Fireman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gianna, Gianna, calm down, babe. It's okay. It's we're all here. We're all here. I'm here with you. 
I'm not gonna leave you. Okay. Let it out. Calm down. Just sit down, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we handle very serious issues in this courtroom. And I think what we all witnessed today is she truly believed that, Mr. Tedwell, you were her child's father. The truth, sometimes it breaks us down. Mm -hmm. And we need a minute to process it. Mm -hmm. And she needs a minute. Yes. She's with Dr. Jeff Gardier, and he is going to take good care of her. I'm not going to shun her out. Thank we you. love this baby. Ms. Chappelle, you say the defendant, Mr. Todd, is without a doubt your daughter, Walesia's biological father. You say the only reason he denies her is because his fiance, Ms. Collins, doesn't want him in your life. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you're suing Mr. Todd for $2,475 for babysitting expenses and for lost wages. Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Yes, Todd, Honor. you state there's no chance that the child in question is your daughter. You say Ms. Chappelle will stop at nothing to get you back, even if it means pinning a child on you that isn't yours. True, Your Honor. You and your fiancé are countersuing in the amount of $375 for car windows you claim the plaintiff destroyed. So, Ms. Chappelle, why do you feel you're owed $2,475 for these expenses? Um, because, um, I was had a job, Your Honor, and he was babysitting the baby for me, and after he didn't babysit anymore, I had to start paying $75 a week for babysitting fees and lost wages, and I didn't have a babysitter, and I couldn't keep up with the babysitting fees, so I had to quit my job, and I don't have a job anymore. And here's my papers right here. Jerome, will you hand me those, please? I have never watched our baby, Your Honor. I don't even know when she had a job. I ain't never saw it with no... And you've never watched Walesia? I never watched Walesia. Your Honor, he has... I don't even have a place to stay myself, so I'm his cousin's house. It's your Honor's house. He has... He has dropped me off at the house. He watched the baby. Just a minute. Just a minute. You two were in a sexual relationship. Right. right? Yes. It wasn't and no relationship. Of, it wasn't a relationship. No. no you were just having sex. Just having sex. And she, if you were having sex and she got pregnant, were you using protection every time? No. 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 We met. No. I was pregnant. But at that we never pregnant used, when they, yeah, we when never we used met, she was pregnant. She we was already pregnant with a baby. But, but, with but the other baby, baby. why Lisa? Oh, with right. someone else's baby. All right. Why is it you doubt that Walesia is your child. Because at the time, she was messing around with other guys, and by me being young mm -hmm. and, 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 and just doing crazy stuff, I go and mess with her at the same time, too, so she was messing with men all at one time. But this one, never my girl. I had... I was in a relationship with someone yes. at that time, and she was messing around, too. So at that... She felt... So what love. you're saying, it was an understanding that you all had sex unprotected sex, but that you also for were having years. sex with other people. It wasn't no for you. She <laughs> was having sex with other... Yes. I had... I had a girl at yes, that time. I was in love. You I had right. my yes, own girl. He couldn't be in love. She, 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 yeah, I, but I still had my own girl. Times. Yeah, I was messing with her. So, Miss Chappelle, do you admit that you were having sex with other people in addition to Mr. Todd during the window of conception? No, you honor. She a liar. She was not even in the picture, you honor, so she has she, nothing just, to do with this. We, we was what together picture that was? 2011, oh, I was pregnant was? with someone oh, else, baby. Our baby was God, already here when they met, you the honor. All right. Our Look. babies were here before she Listen. came in the picture. All right. Quiet. All right. Uh, Ms. Collins, Mr. Todd, you also have a counterclaim. Yes. You are asking for $375... Yes, Your Honor. Uh, ...for car windows you say the plaintiff destroyed. Please explain to me the basis of that. On a particular day, I had dropped Mr. Todd off to pick up his phone. Last. Ashley, Miss Chappelle stole his phone. Stole my as phone. As I dropped him off, Miss Chappelle... Miss Chappelle... I bought him a phone, Your Honor. approached me and bust my window out of my car. Ooh. I called the police on the scene, 
No. And I had proof Lies. that, and I, I had proof Lies. that she bust out my windows on my car. She ran. I have she, she came to a receipt. She was. That's when how that she get well met. And I have proof, and I have a police report town. that Come she bust my windows out on do my car. Do you have that evidence here today? I do, no. ma'am. I'd like to see it, please. Thank you. This is and an incident report which says there was damage to private property, vehicle... And I do have the receipt, too, Your Honor. Windows were damaged. I'd like to see the receipt, too, this please. This is proof, too. This is the receipt for the window repair. Total $375. Yes, Your Honor, that Miss Chappelle did. Miss Chappelle, did you bust the windows out of her car? Yes, ma'am, I did. <laughs> You did. Because she came at me and we had an altercation. She came it's about all the way Walter. from Four Seasons. It's about Walter. And he was it's already about out there no in the apartment where we was. He was in the complex. Yes, she it's thought we Mr. was Tug. together, so she came yeah, where we was at. Was. That's yeah. how she lived She's in Four lying. Seasons. We was in 2500 Simpson Street. She came yeah, where I was at. That's how her window got bust. She came at me with a lot of emotion, like we was about to fight. We did get into an altercation. Hold on. When she came at you with this emotion, was she outside of the car? Yes. Ma'am, that's how her window got, got busted, and car. she pulled up where I was at in, in the apartments where I hang at my cousin's house. She came where I was. He was already out there because we had been together already. That's, that's right. what she I knew. That's why she with, came right. where we was at. We was, and we I was. bought him that phone that at she that said time, I we stole. Was together. I took we the phone together. back, you okay. on the phone. Yes, All right, so the bottom line is you do admit you bust the windows yes, out. Yes, ma'am, I did because that was self-defense. All right. Self-defense. She's mad that we're together. That's why she cared about I, I care I'm less about them being together. together. You know what we're here for is the DNA, about the, the, about the kid. That's yeah, what yeah, I want to yeah. hear. That's the only thing yeah. I want to yeah. know. Yeah. Is he the father of my baby? They can help each other. I don't want them. I want the blood, blood test for my child. It's Ms. Collins, I want to bring you into this briefly because I want to understand what it is you know about the situation. Ms. Chappelle says you don't know anything because you weren't even involved in, the, in this entire time. The baby was already oh, born. Oh. So what exactly do you know about it? When, when I first met Ms. Chappelle, we let her move in with, with me and Mr. Todd. We let her move in. Wait a minute. You let you Ms. Chappelle me? move into the house with you two? Yes, yes, because where she was living at was not healthy for her, the baby. And when I had a conversation with Mr. Todd, he said, this is a girl trying to put a baby on me, saying that this could be my baby. I said, well, we can move her in just so we can get tested to see if this is your baby. Therefore, that we can move forward with it. It didn't work out that way. We was taking the baby when she's out having sex with different guys, coming in different night, times of night, while she's gone. Okay, and so you feel like you moved her in and then she was avoiding getting the DNA test. And what made me have doubt that this is not his wanna... baby, she doesn't look like Mr. Todd. And my cousin Shh. came what and told hell? me she was saying it's, it could be someone else's baby than Mr. Todd. So that's why I have doubt, because my cousin came and told me. Ms. Chappelle, do you ever recall saying that no, baby Walithia had another father? No, She's honor. lying. No, you honor. No, you so, honor. Ms. Chappelle, then, it's let it's me it's ask you, why him. are you so certain that Mr. Todd is your child's father? Because when we was together, I told him that I was pregnant, it and does. he was like, oh, this your third child, whatever. Well, he was like, our child would be the prettiest child, whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, it's cool. We're gonna have our baby. And we came to agreement that he would be there for her. And when I had her at the hospital, him, his brothers, all of them came. came to the hospital. Did you go to the hospital, Mr. Todd? Yes, I went to the hospital. Yes, yes and, ma'am. And if, why did you go I to went the to the hospital because I was going to do an interview downtown at that same time around she had the baby. Okay. Once I got in there, the doctor said, who is the father? What one of y'all the father? I said, who it looked like? The doctor said, it looked like my friend. No, it said your oh, brother. God. He that said it looked like God. his brother. That's on God. He said it looked oh, like God. his brother. No. He had his two like brothers with him. He said it looked like his that brother. I had, right. I had. Uh, let's the get some order. Said. Let's get some order. Ms. Chappelle, you have a witness. I want to hear from her. Ms. Matthews, what do you have to add to this? My daughter was carrying her second child when she started messing with Mr. Todd, Your Honor. She was on her second child. She started having a relationship with him while she was carrying someone else's baby. After she delivered that other baby, then she ended up pregnant by him, which is Wylicia, who looked just like him. He is my grandbaby father, and he's noticed. 
He know this. But he this was... young lady, I don't know nothing about her. I don't know her because she wasn't nowhere around when these two started messing around. He was on his first baby mama. That's who he was messing with at the time when he was messing with my daughter. Oh! He was what with his a first mess. baby mama. I'm messing with no baby mama. I'm messing with you was my, my girl who oh, I was with for eight she, years. All right, listen, listen, but she listen, wasn't listen, in eight years, listen, not my baby mama. Listen, 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 listen. Oh my God. It's like y'all playing tic tac toe or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you but, just but, here, yeah, there, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, playing tic tac toe, but this is his baby. He know it. This sexual I mean, activity that, with no protection, uh, no regard. I, I, you all. Is this what y'all doing just for a daily activity? She just came back around me, Your Honor. We weren't even around each other. She just had came back, and I had sex with her. She said, I'm pregnant. Lies! I, mean, I had moved she was from Overlook. They, the they, they still stand up there. I moved. Rizzo. She came to her cousin house where I was hanging at. I had sex okay, with her. She said, I'm pregnant. Okay, what about when you came to the cater at right. our house and so all that? That was before all that. Living so with us for several months, months before he met this lady. Miss Chappelle? Miss Chappelle? Yes, Your Honor. Ultimately, yes. you say he came to the hospital and, and inquired and about the... who the child looked like. Yes, I know. He's... Why do you think if he came to the hospital to see the child, if you feel like you all talked about having a baby, why? Why do you think he's denying the child right now? What, what is his motive? Like he said, I, I mean, he say I've been messing with other men, but he never denied her till he get with his fiance. We she put in his head it. that this not his baby. Yes, I did live with them, you honor, yeah, but I did, did not get the argue with them. I never lived on a bad cut. term. She wasn't we even was in, in a good pitch. turn when I got my bed and I left. And we was never in an Your argument honor. or anything, you honor. We was in good terms. They no, still would call me and talk. They did not put my things out. I grabbed my things and I asked them. When I was staying with them, you honor. You honor, we had. Her Why mama even came to me and said, oh. that baby look like you, because the mama know I been denying the baby when I was staying with them. The mama even came to me and said, that baby you look were, like you. You were denying the baby. I, 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 I was, was denying the baby when I was staying, but no, I was buying the baby. Not, you, you came went, to right, me and right, said right, it. Right, you said, that baby look just Mr. like Todd, you. Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd. Is that Mr. what Todd. you're offering for testimony? Because if you're saying that her mother came and said the child looked like you, that would then support the theory that it was that, your child. Thank you. Thank you. That is oh. his child. She, that's his child. she said, I've been claiming the baby. I never claimed the baby. That would make her right. come and say, so, the right. baby so, do look like me. All but right. I, she know I wasn't never claiming the baby. Oh. Okay. I have so, never been claiming the baby. But even before I met her, I, need I, to I, know one, the baby. I need to know one thing from Ms. Collins. Why is it you allowed Ms. Chappelle to move in? You say it's because you wanted to have a DNA test. And because of... Because he had said... This is someone that's saying that this is his baby and the baby was in a position where they was at... It was healthy for so the baby. So he acknowledged to you that there's a woman out there that says she has my child. Thank correct. You. But they are Thank not you. living in... And we want... And go conditions that I'm it. comfortable with. I want to have a DNA test. I'm Can sure. they come live with us until we figure this out? And she do was scared. So again, and she was scared to go Mr. Have Todd, one. you then acknowledged again it was a possibility that you could be this Thank child's you. father. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. So, what are Thank your you. hopes for yeah. today? I hope the baby don't come out of my house. She ain't never a problem. And she, she don't want to... Sh she don't want to mess him. with her other baby dad and all the rest of them. She, she want to come to me and mess with me. And, 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 well, you want to mess with her, too. But all the other men mess with her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He messed with her. Like, like, well, well, she's lying is... Behind uh, look, look, look. She mad because... Hey, bottom line is you got to pay to play. Right, right. You... You acting like it's Young. a game. You no, hold on, Miss Collins. I'm talking. Yes. That's the part that you are missing in this. Y'all acting like it's a game. Then pay to play. Meaning, if it happens that you are the father, then you have to step up and support. Thank you. Thank you. When you sleep with Thank a woman you. without Thank using you. protection, and you know that other men are doing the same. You know you're at risk for not just pregnancy, <laughs> but STDs. Everything. Yeah, HIV right. and AIDS. That's right. Yeah. That's mm. right. That's right. You can play Russian roulette with your own life if you want to, but you're not gonna do it to this baby. Thank right. You. Right. 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 So, all 
ultimately, what is your hope, Miss Chappelle? Well, I know that this is his baby, and I hope that he's ready to help take care of her and be in her life. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Yeah, results. 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 Thank you. In the case of Chappelle versus Todd Cullens, when it comes to three-year-old Walicia Chappelle, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Todd, you are not the father. Oh. And you know you you're gonna smiling, Miss Chappelle? She'll put yes, your because girl, at the end pretty, of the day, this is the child on girl. what they did, they no. say. I ain't not have sex with no one else you want. I know this is the only man I, I was messing I with at the time. Yep. I know it. Miss Chappelle, you were obviously having sex it. with at least one other person no, during the you, window I, of the sex. At least we do know that, that he's not the father. Yes, thank you. Out of our life. Yes, no thank good. you. It's okay, good. now that we know the truth, yes. we can start by these claims you have against one another. Miss Chappelle, you came in suing the defendant for $2,475 in lost wages because you said... He would not babysit for the child, and you lost your job. You could not sue him because he was not able to babysit. Yeah. And now, since we've determined that, in fact, Walisi is not his biological child, yes. he doesn't even have a moral obligation... Right. ...or legal obligation... Yes, Your Honor. ...to babysit for this child. For that reason, your claim is denied. Yes, Your Judgment Honor. for the defendant. You all came with a counterclaim saying that Ms. Chappelle busted the windows out of Ms. Cullen's car. You provided receipts that totaled $375. Ms. Chappelle stood in court today and admitted she busted the windows out the car. Yes. And so that's a very easy determination. You do owe her for the $375 that it took to repair her car. So for that reason, judgment for the counterclaimant. And this is where we move forward. Mr. Wilson, you've opened this case to prove you are not the biological father of Ms. Butler's two daughters, four-year-old Zariah and 19-month-old Nyana. You claim Ms. Butler had sexual encounters with other men around each pregnancy, and you are certain you did not father either child. Is that correct? Correct. Ms. Butler, you say you and Mr. Wilson have four children, and you are livid that he denies these two. You want Mr. Wilson to take responsibility and step up for these girls as he's done for the other children. Is that correct? Yes. Mr. Wilson, I'll start with you. You say you are adamant that these two children are not yours. Explain. Um, when we first got together, um, at the time uh, she had the baby, um, she was a liar, cheating all the time, had multiple um, guys running out of the house, um, all on the internet. I mean, you know, um, go to the apartment, everybody talking about who she messing with. So you say these kids aren't yours? No, they're not mine. They're not mine, not at all. And Miss Butler, you say he's absolutely incorrect. Yes, these kids is definitely his. So let me ask you this, because it's 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 right here in my court file. So let's just be honest about it. There's a significant age difference between you, Mr. Yes. Wilson, and Ms. Butler. You are 48, she is 25. Yes. Are you sure this is not a situation where you may feel like Ms. Butler is out there doing her thing when really she's not because of this no. age difference? No, 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 no. Um, age will make you a hoe. <laughs> Jerome, write that down for me. We're gonna remember that note. Okay. <laughs> Age My... don't make you a hoe. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I want to go back and understand your relationship. And since there are two children here and you question paternity relating to both of them, I want to start with one child okay. and then we'll move on to the next child so we'll make sure the testimony is understandable. Okay? okay? So let's start with Zariah. Can you take me to the nature of your relationship around the time Zariah was conceived? Where, where were you in your relationship? Um, she was living at home with her parents at the time, and um, one time I go up to her job to see her at work, take her some lunch, and um, I seen her get out of another guy's car. And I got a cell phone, and I seen that they've been in... A, she'd been in a whole nother relationship with this other guy. 
a light skinned guy by her skin color. It wasn't a relationship. And um, well, I mean, if, if, what? Okay, race, wait, 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 wait. So I want to understand this. At the time Zariah was conceived, you thought you all were committed. I thought so. But you... we wasn't living together, so that don't mean it was kind of different, though. Oh, you can't be in a committed relationship unless you live together. I mean, I did love him, though. I really did, but. No, she didn't. I did love you, but I just... I mean, if you love me, you wouldn't have never... I mean, get, get, get called at work with another guy, and I read the text messages, call him daddy and all that stuff, and... Yes. I mean, and, and, and the list went down. I mean, uh, okay, hold on. Guy. Well, let's start at the top of the list, and let's go ahead and go down. I want to understand what happened. So, what's the first thing? And then take me through each one. Her family. Um, didn't want us to be together because of age difference. Okay. You know, I understand that, you know. Um, she's sending naked pictures of other guys. The same oh. picture she sent me. So you went through her phone and you saw the same picture she'd send you. Yes, the, the sexy picture she sent them to somebody else. Yes, even when we were living together, she was doing the same thing. Were you double dipping on the pictures, Miss Butler? I was triple dipping, <laughs> quadruple tripping. Yeah, quadruple she dipping. She must have met, met some multiple guys. And the pictures were being sent out. Multiple to, guys. And, were you sending the pictures out? Yeah, yeah. I did. Um, one time I did. Rem I can't remember. Yeah, I did do that. You did? Yeah. So you sent some sexy pictures to your boyfriend and you sent the same pictures to multiple guys. It was about, like, one, so it wasn't that many. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> she admitted to that. What happened at work? You said something um, about you sh You caught her at work? Yeah, um, I, I was going to take a lunch and, um, she worked late, so I was going to take a lunch, you know, being, being a good man. And nobody can find it. I can find it at work. I look up, she get out of the car with this other dude and bump right into me. She got her head down and bump right into me. <laughs> and that's when she dropped the phone, got picked up the phone, and I just pushed her out the way and left. And she's screaming for a cell phone. I got in the car and left. And um, that's when I read the phone. That's when she called the other dude daddy and all that. Oh, so you went through all the messages? Oh, yes. And what did you see? Um, boy, it hurt me. Um, calling the other guy daddy, I miss you, and um, um, I want to eat your candy cane. And... <laughs> What? I remember that everything. Is... He going to... No, I don't know. Yes, I remember everything, ma'am. <laughs> oh, a candy cane. Remember... Candy cane. <laughs> I don't remember all that, so... Well, there's so many guys I in that rem... you cannot remember. I don't remember all that. Well, were you with someone else? Do you remember talking about their candy cane? <laughs> I know the guy he's talking about. I mean, I did see him, and we did try to have sex a try. couple of times, but we... How can you try to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I think that's possible. So you exactly. say you tried to have sex. What happened? I mean, we tried to use the little condom, but we stopped and it just... We didn't... It didn't happen. Like, he never <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Let's say... There was actual sexual contact, yeah. but he didn't finish the act. Yeah, because I end up stopping. Okay. So we never really... Fit. So, Mr. Wilson, how did you even find out Ms. Butler was pregnant with Zariah? Because she's admitting to everything you're saying. Yeah. So... Um, well, we were still in close contact, you know, and I thought, like I said, um, I gave her another chance, and she told me she wasn't gonna do it no more. And, you know, doing the lying like she always do. She's a habitual liar. And, um, I thought we was being back together. So, after we had the baby, you know, I thought we was gonna start all over brand new. It didn't... She still did the same thing. So, wait, tell me when you find out she was pregnant. Take me to that day. How does she tell you I'm pregnant with Zariah? She, she was just, um, talking about she missed a period. So, I kept on telling her, go get the pregnancy test. Go get the pregnancy test. So, she finally got it, came to find out she was pregnant. So, I always... In my back of my mind, I knew the baby wasn't mine. But and I, I thought it was so many men, different men. And so, what did you... What do you say? Do you remember that day, Miss Butler? Yes, I said the baby is definitely his. Like, I already knew it. Like, the baby's his. How did you know that? Because, like, we will always have sex, like, all the time, with, like, without no condom. And that time, I really wasn't really messing with anybody. Really. Really? Really. Yeah, really. <laughs> I, why are you even with him? For real. Because I do, like, love him. I no, just don't, don't know why. I don't... I don't know, but I do really did love him, though. I actually did. 
Let All me, right, so you your... find out you're pregnant with Zariah. You tell him you're pregnant. He immediately says he has doubts. You say you don't have doubts. You know that Zariah is his child because you just know. Yeah, because I just know. Because we will always have sex, like, all the time. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. All right. Now, take me to her birth. What was going on? I mean, um, I didn't have my phone at the hospital, so I would have definitely had called him, so... Oh, he wasn't even there. No, man. Because my That's phone... Another situation. I didn't have my phone around that time. They got phones at the hospital. They got a way to get in contact. <laughs> she had called me to three hours later after the baby was Wait born. a minute. You went to the hospital? You were in a relationship and you went to the hospital and had the baby without even letting them know? Didn't let me know. The other guy must have been there. Like I said, I didn't have my phone. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You didn't have your phone. There was no one there with you with a phone? No one came to the hospital with you at all? No, really. I was really the only one up there. Okay, and, and so you couldn't tell a nurse or anybody to call him? I mean, it wasn't on my mind. Because I wasn't a dad. So who's on the birth certificate? Um, that was a situation. I gave the, um... The, the nurse came in and asked me what the baby's name gonna be. So she gave the baby's first name. And I, I, at the time, I thought it could be my baby. So I told her the last name would be Wilson. My last name. So the next day, I go to the hospital because they, they took the baby to another hospital. Come back here, go back there, the lady gives us our paperwork, it's back Butler. So I asked them, like, how's the baby Because Butler? you've been denying the baby, that's why. So why would her name be your last name? Okay, because well, you I'm... say he's her father. Yeah, thank I you. know, though, but he's denying... <laughs> in the twilight zone or something. <laughs> like, I, I, I really do. I, I, I mean, so why would... She's like, and why would the baby have your last name? Because you're said he's the father. I know, but he been, he's denying her, though. So Zariah is four now. Yes. Four. What type of relationship do you have with her? How... how I, mean, I love are... the baby, man. And, um, I raised her from um, the time we were living together um, until, you know, I just couldn't take it no more, you know? I had to leave. So, you know... Um, the baby, Zariah called me daddy and everything, and, and it hurts me so bad because I know in my heart I'm not the father. When I seen the baby in the hospital, I looked at the baby, eyebrows, I'm like, come on now. None of my kids got no eyebrows. None of your kids have eyebrows? They even thin like mine. <laughs> Look at them eyebrows. They beautiful. They thick. <laughs> Look at that nose. Look at that. Come on. That's not my baby. You squinting up there, uh, Miss Butler? You over there squinting, <laughs> trying to figure out if it is, if it no, isn't? No, I'm positive. I'm, I, like, I'm 100% sure the, uh, kids is actually his. Like, I'm very positive. So, I'm not... It don't, it's no doubt in my mind, Look though. at my nose. Look at that baby nose. Look at them eyebrows. So, Miss Butler, really, I mean, you've been laughing, you have giggled, you, you, you know, you... you and honestly, you've admitted some really d difficult things. I mean, I will give you that. So, what does it really feel like? I mean, you have two other children, and then you have these two children, and Mr. Wilson's saying, I just don't believe they're mine. It hurts. It's sad. Because I, I tell him all the time. He keeps saying the same thing. It's so... It, it does hurt, though. It hurts in what way? Because, like, he should know. How should I know? Like, we always have sex, like, all the time. Man, you always have sex with other multiple men. How should I know? You just totally just say that the kids is not totally... I, I... I'm 110%, ma'am. <laughs> they're not my babies. But, Miss Butler, when he says, but you have sex with other people, too, you don't deny that. You just say, I have sex with you... that you guys have sex all the time. You understand that it really just takes one time. That it's not about the quantity. Thank you. Right? Right. <laughs> Just takes one time. You could have sex with him 5,000 times and have sex with another man one time but I know... and that one man be the father. No, but um, we always end up stopping or we either use the <laughs> condom. So I know for sure... Like, really, for real, like... So, if Mr. Wilson is not Zariah's biological father, do you know who is? No. no. But the kids is his, though. I don't... I, I'm not thinking that. You wouldn't have The kids is his, so there's no other possibly, possible father. No. The kids is his. So, if Zariah is not your biological father... I'm, I'm gonna be sad. 
because um, that's a wonderful little child and she shouldn't be put through that. What she going through with her mother. I'm gonna be real fast. All right. Uh, I'm ready for the results, because I, I mean, I... <laughs> I'm trying to be patient with you, Ms. Butler. But you're on my last nerve Thank right you. now. I, if this is all too messy and you seem to be too comfortable with no, it. No, it is messy, though, and I did say I want to do better. It's not it's cute, better. though. It, it's really not. You're still doing it today. Most of my men coming out of the house right now as we speak. No, it's not. <laughs> That's why I took my kids from over there. Oh, my God. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Wilson versus Butler, when it comes to four-year-old Zariah Butler, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Wilson, you are not the father. Told you. Are not? Yeah, she said it. I'm not the daddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's not crazy. Zariah? Yeah, she's not my baby. You better go make some phone calls. <laughs> that's crazy. I've been telling you for he four years. He is not Zariah's biological father. Four years, I've been telling you. Zariah? That is sad. Let it hit you. Come on out, because you've been in this fog for far too long, so come on out. Yes, it's sad. It's real sad. I don't think I've ever That's seen a young woman stand in a courtroom and be so cavalier about sleeping with everybody that she feels like. And you supposed to be running around here taking care of this baby, and she four years old, she's supposed to be learning her nursery rhyme, and all you can sing is eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the daddy you don't know? play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. That's what we learned when, 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 when we're kids. You've been playing with fire. Wow, that's crazy. There it is.